Hi there! Today I'm going to show you how you can use the basic features of WeVideo. Topics are timestamped below. Let's start by signing in with Google. If you've never used WeVideo, be sure to place an IIQ ticket so we can send you and your students the link to join our subscription. We're going to make a basic video first. To get started, you'll choose Create, which will take us to the video editor. You can collaborate on videos by clicking this button and entering your teammates' email address or sharing the link with them. You'll notice there are three rows at the bottom. These are called tracks, and this is where you'll add your content. I've already recorded a video on my laptop, so I'm going to upload it to WeVideo. We can do this by clicking Add Media and Upload. Choose the video file and wait for the clip to load. Once it's uploaded, you can add it to your project by dragging the clip into this track. The track will contain all your video files. You can drag the edges of the clip if you need to crop it. You can also drag the player head to the middle of the clip and use the split tool or S on your keyboard to make a cut in the middle. Drag the clip to the very beginning and make sure they're touching so there aren't any gaps in between. Now we'll add some text. To do this, pick which text you'd like here. Then drag it to the top track. These tracks are like layers, so whatever is on the highest track is going to be on the top layer, which is on top of everything else in the finished video. You will double click the words to edit. Click done to save. Next, we will add some stock media to our project. I'm going to click videos and search using keywords. I can click once on the clip to get a preview. To add it to my project, I will click and drag it like I did for the first clip. If I wanted this clip to go in between the ones I've added, I can drag it and choose insert and push. We can repeat this process for images too. If you make a mistake, simply use the undo button or control Z on your keyboard to undo your mistake. Next, we'll add some audio. I recommend searching by mood or genre. You can also look up sound effects. Click the clip to preview it. This time, we're adding the clip to the lowest track called audio. We can preview what we have so far by starting from the beginning and clicking play. If you want to layer multiple clips, you can click here and add another track. You can reorder the tracks here. Then you'd drag your next clip here. In this example, this sound effect and music would play at the same time. You can adjust the volume here, or double click and choose audio to change the volume. You can create a green screen effect by layering a green screen video on top of an image or video clip. To remove the green screen, we will double click on the green image and choose the keying tab. Click the eyedropper and select the green background. If it's not perfect, you can control the sensitivity and defringe like this. Show mask will give you an idea of what's being keyed out. Click done to save. Now your chosen background will replace the green. To add transitions, you can go here and click the transition for a preview. Drag the transition in between two clips to apply it. You can double click to change the transition settings. As we continue working on this project, all our changes will save automatically. I highly recommend giving your video a name so you can find it faster in the future. If you need to come back to the video the next day, you can find it here on the homepage. Here's how teachers can share their videos with students. When we're all done, we can export the video here. You should change the resolution to HD so it's higher quality. You can choose to connect your Google Drive or YouTube channel if you want to export to those platforms. Otherwise, just click Export. You'll wait for the video to finish processing, then you can download it here. You can also copy the link to share the video. Anyone with the link will be able to view the video. Students will share their videos with teachers a bit differently. 
Before students go to wevideo.com to start their project, teachers should first set up a class and assignment. Teachers will go to the Classes tab and create a class. Fill out the information and click Create. In the People tab, you can invite students by choosing to sync your Google Classroom or by copying the invite link or code. This will add them to our subscription. You can also request the invite code for your students by placing an IIQ ticket like we mentioned before. Once students have joined your class and our subscription, you will create an assignment. Add the details at the top. We're going to talk more about these choices later in the video, but you'll pick the type of project you want students to create. You're also going to decide if students will work on their own or if kids can work in teams. The other sections are optional. Click Assign when you're ready. Students will have this view. They will click Jump In and begin the project. Once they're done, they can click Turn In and you as the teacher can view the project. So what else can we video do? We saw how to create a basic video already, but did you know that you can also create a GIF, which is a short looped animation with no sound, a podcast that is sound only and no visuals, or a storyboard, which is a simplified version of the original video editor. You can choose what kind of project you create with this dropdown or from the assignment options we saw earlier. On basic videos, you can add a voiceover using this button. You can also record your screen here. A brand new feature is text-to-speech, which is an AI voiceover that only teachers can use. Simply type the words, choose a voice, and ta-da! You have a voiceover. Hello, this is an example. Do you want an even easier way to create videos that have lots of images and text? You can also try converting a Google Slides into a Wii video file. Start by going to your slideshow and downloading it as a PDF. Then create a new Wii video project and upload the PDF. It takes a little bit of time to load, but once it does, you can add the slides one by one or hold shift on your keyboard and select all the slides at once to add everything. Then all you have to do is add music and you're done. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss our next video.